Hello and welcome to the Nitty Kitties channel and I'm Any Art Netty. Now welcome to this video where I'm going to convert Castle Art Supplies, you'll notice that's quite an old tin, uh, into a Faber-Castell set. So I have actually done a more detailed video on this set here, link in the, in the, the corner there to that if you want to watch it. Now, you'll see both sets have got 120 in them, so you'd think maybe that would be a straight swap, but it's not. There's different tones, so to get the colours the same as in the Faber-Castell, I've had to mix, at most, maybe three different colours together from the Castle Art set. So hopefully, this will help people who are on a bit more of a tighter budget I want to use, these are really good, good pencils, I do highly recommend them, maybe for someone who's just starting to get into colouring and art, they are a brilliant starting point for someone. And if, I think the Faber-Castell Polychromos are a higher quality, the reason why they are so much more expensive is because they are light fast, whereas I don't think the Castle Art ones are they'll have a cheaper core in them though saying that they are good strong leads in those castle art and I've seldom had one break but this is your high very high quality one so hopefully by watching this video it will help people who would like to know the exact colours or not exact really the colours in the Faber Castell but have only got the castle art so they're able to colour in maybe tutorials which are for a Faber Castell. So I hope that helps in some way. In the description below I've got what I'm showing you here that's the completed chart there the conversion you'll be able to see that do as best quality a scan as I can so you can see it as much as possible. So it's all handwritten I'm gonna work on in the next week typing that up and making sure that everyone will be able to read it. Some people might not be able to read my writing as much. I've got a chart there which shows you the name colours as well of the Faber-Castell. There's a blank chart for you to colour in and that's going to be my piece which I'm going to do some demonstrations on today. But yeah, that one that I've got hold of now has got all the light fast rates on it and the name of every Faber Castell. I've also going to include, I'm also going to include in the description, now that old set of castle art I've got has got just numbers on it, they haven't got colour names on. So what I'll provide is a list which means that you can understand if you've got the older set or the newer set. So I hope that helps as well in some way. But just for today, I'm not going to do the whole chart. What I'm going to do is just a few of them. So I'm going to pick a random Faber-Castell Polychromos pencil and pick out from my chart the corresponding Castle Art Supplies one which should be its replacement and I'm also I'm going to do that on a piece of paper first to see how hopefully in the video you'll be able to see it more in the scans but in the video you'll be able to see how I tried to get them as close as I possibly could so I'm just trying to match them up now and I'll demonstrate as well below in, in the description about which column means what but I've also done now this was a requested one I've got a group on Facebook called Any Art Netty Downloads I'll provide a link to that in the description as well now someone requested for me to do a castle art to I can't remember which one well there was one anyway with castle art and the more expensive brand and I'll just link you there so you'll see a link top right hand description click on that you'll see which one and then 
I started up the group so people were able to download the charts because we had a bit of bother about using different like Google Drive and I thought well I may as well just make a group on Facebook where everyone can download it and if not on Facebook they can use the Google Drive link and it was it's open so anyone can just come and download it so hopefully now we've got that sorted and everyone's able to download the exact things that they need and I think one of my files was missing as well now this was gonna be a few months ago but me and my partner moved house and then you know how everything's in boxes and this is there and this is ever so this has been a long time coming and this has been a one that has been highly requested so I'm thinking maybe to do a castle art to Holbein a to Karen Dash maybe is that if any of these are needed oh the other one maybe castle art to trying to think of the name Derwent Derwent have brought out a new light fast set well not that new so a bit more about these these sets obviously I've got the older one there so that is retailing at the moment as of January the 22nd 2022 is 35 pound I think sometimes it's a bit more but it's it's on a good offer at the minute maybe it's a January sale or something I'll link you to the UK and I'll link you to the US as well because I've noticed most of my audience is either UK or US but you type in castle art and it should come up maybe on Amazon as well so usually the Amazon is very similar to castle art's own website so the things I like about the castle art supplies is that they're affordable they're brilliant for a starter they're a good high quality colour pencil for someone who's just starting and you're not spending too much on that on a set straight away it's a good affordable price I think so there is other sets I've got which I think another one is the Giotto Still Novo which I haven't done yet again obviously I've been moving so it's been quite an upheaval really it's one of the stressful things you can do isn't it so yeah so um hmm. there you go but never mind we're here on back again and finally i've got i've got this up for you to see so yeah giotto still novo is a good good affordable one and there's a few actually and i'll do a vi i've done a video in the past but that was ones which are under about six pound maybe for the budget to go a little bit more but hopefully i'll cover everyone's kind of budgets so this particular color pencil is called the soft series one i've noticed they've brought out different smaller sets as well but those pencils are from this original set so i mean if you're looking for a certain theme, theme like van gogh van gogh whatever you want to call it i don't want to start an argument Van Gogh, Van Gogh, or there's a Picasso one, I think. They're based on the masters. And then I've got a portrait one as well. So that's the same, the soft series one. So they are very silky smooth. They're brilliant and highly recommend. So what I've done here, just to see the comparison between the Castle Art and the Faber Castell matchup, I've got a colouring sheet which is from Spectrum Noir I've done a black line right down the middle on the left is the Castle Art equivalent and on the right is its Faber Castell equivalent so hopefully the two sides will match up in colour <laughs> fingers crossed so I thought I'd just time lapse that for you to watch and enjoy but I'll just tell you a bit more about castle art so yeah obviously they've got names now instead of just a number to one, 1 to 120 so yes there'll be a chart in the description below so if you've only got the number one and you've only got the 
named colour pencils you'll be able to put the two together so everyone will be able to understand which is which and not get any mix-ups no extra work for you for you to download so from castle art point of view just to let you know i'm not sponsored or affiliated by faber castell or castle art this is a totally independent my own point of view not any influence or anything like that i found their customer service to be spot on they've been very kind nice they listen they're polite and really nice people and thoroughly nice people <laughs> so yeah i think they're based in america and they they started started off or still are a family business so that's nice to know so yeah i i do i really really rate them and i really like them again i'm not or any brands you can see in the video not not sponsored not affiliated but just so you know that that's my own view and everything and the fact you can speak to a human you know on facebook messenger and you know the name and every, you, you recognize the name when you message them i think that's very valuable good customer service so and i did test these with water as well with the castle art they are not water resistant whereas the faber castell polychromos they are water resistant so just to let you know in case you start experimenting with water with either of these you know in advance that castle art aren't waterproof but faber castell are water resistant so to talk about the faber castell here because they're the other star of the show yeah they can range from 150 to 200 pounds for that set if you are to venture into getting a set of the polychromos and you're not sure you can buy the stock you know where you, you can buy just a white pencil or a black one i'll link you to a, a, a good shop in the description below so you can start off with maybe the white and the black and see how you like them they do sell different size sets as well so you could get a pack of 10 and maybe just start that way but just to make sure that you like them and they're for you rather than laying down nearly 200 pound you can try maybe one or two the black the right white red and i usually try a green one and a blue just to see how they are they are a hard harder pencil though they are smooth and creamy at the same time i'd highly recommend faber castell ones if you're selling portraits especially of animals and pets because they are a hard lead on them you will get all that nice fur detail so as opposed to the likes of Karen Dash where it is very soft as is the Holbein really isn't it if anyone has tried them as well so these Faber Castell highly recommend for very very detailed portraits especially of pets so they are just to let you know with Faber Castell as well they are acid free and obviously you've got the light fastness now but Derwin have come along and brought out an even more light fast pencil so but these I still really recommend them they are they are a fantastic one so the Faber Castell so I'll link you to a shop in the description below I like cult pens is a good one I'm talking in the UK Jackson's art supplies are fantastic and obviously Amazon is very accessible to everyone but I do like to recommend going to your local art shop as well because it's important to buy within your local community I think a lot more than maybe the likes of Amazon but if you're stuck somewhere and you haven't got a local independent shop Amazon is good for that as well isn't it so but Jackson's art supplies I can't fault them they've always been fantastic so 
Here you go. Again, I'm t I'm talking about these brands and shops, but I'm I'm serious. I'm not I'm not sponsored or affiliated. I just found you know what you like, and um, you know the ones that you like and where you can get your good customer service. So hopefully, this video is valuable to you, and if this one is, hopefully my other castle art one will be valuable to you as well. And I'll be making sure to do more. Maybe you want a Faber Castell to Karen Dash one. I don't know, but if anyone has got any recommendations or comments or anything, please feel free to write a comment on the Any Art Netty download page or on this video. It's, and, and they are just to let you know it is monitored so you'll see you'll put your comment and it might not come up straight away but somebody moderates all of the comments it's just a it's a good filter <laughs> so that that is there don't worry your comment will be seen so obviously there that so there we are anyway i hope this is helpful to you hopefully you can see on the screen that hopefully i've done good matches for you and Make sure if you want it, yeah, feel free to download whatever you want off the Any Art Netty download page. I'll leave you with the rest of this colouring in. Thank you ever so much for watching and I shall see you again soon. Bye for now.